Hey friends, today I want to talk to you about life with encouragement. Amongst all that we deal with on a daily basis in life, uh, we oftentimes get discouraged. But we can know that Christianity is not just a crutch, it's a cure. That there is encouragement available for us. We can live a life of encouragement. Now it doesn't mean that we won't at times get discouraged, but when we do, how do we get lifted up? How do we get back to the place of encouragement? I look in the Bible at 1 Samuel 30 and I find that David and his men had returned to Ziklag. And when they did, they found that the enemy had invaded and had burned the city with fire, had uh, completely destroyed it, had taken the women captive and their children, their sons and their daughters. I can only imagine at this point uh, the discouragement the distress, the depression, the utter devastation that David must have felt. I can only imagine. So to make only a bad day worse, his, his men, his own men wanted to turn on him and they wanted to stone him. But the Bible said in the middle of all of that, in the middle of all that discouragement, David encouraged himself in the Lord or he strengthened himself in the Lord. How did he do that? He went to the Lord and he began to seek his direction. And the Lord had a word for David. When he inquired as to what to do about the enemy and all that had been stolen from him, God answered David and said, You shall without fail recover it all. Everything was going to be restored. So David got divine direction from God and that helped to encourage him. No matter what you're going through, if you'll seek God, if you'll seek him, he'll give you direction that will encourage you. He always has a word for you that will encourage you no matter what distressing situation you're in. Now let me share with you something that will always encourage you in this world. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 4 that we don't lose heart even though our outward man is perishing, yet the inward man is being renewed day by day. Paul said, For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, is working for us a far more exceedingly eternal weight of glory. While we do not look at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are only temporary, but the things which are not seen are eternal. What he's saying is there is something eternal that will encourage us. No matter how discouraging our light affliction is. I know it's hard to look at some things as a light affliction, even in the life of David, but they are light compared to the eternal weight of glory that will be revealed when we reach heaven. That's why we don't lose heart. That's why we can be encouraged. First Thessalonians chapter 4, Paul told the church, he said, For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel and with the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first, and then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. The very next verse says, Therefore encourage one another with these words. Now my grandma's generation lived this kind of encouragement. Even in the middle of times of great depression, they lived this encouragement by keeping their eyes on eternal things instead of on temporary things. On things which are not seen instead of on things which are. That encouragement was found in the songs they sang. I can still, I could still hear Grandma singing songs like in the sweet by and by, when we all get to heaven, or songs like if we never meet again this side of heaven, we'll meet on that beautiful shore. So let me encourage you today. No matter what tough times or discouraging times or distressing times are coming your way, or what kind of devastation you may feel, there is encouragement that comes from the life of God's Word. And His life will impact your life if you'll just seek Him in these times. Trust Him, and He will encourage you.